what's psychologically, what's the benefit of someone understanding or, or paying attention to their dreams and understanding their interpretation? Yeah, so on the individual level, um, you know, beyond the kind of all the spiritual traditions and the, the religious mythologies, uh, the, on the individual level, from a, the Jungian perspective, the dream is taking you through a process of growth, mm. of personal development. And he says, if you don't pay attention to that, uh, your psyche is kind of dragging you along and creating these external events to try to wake you up to that process. Like, mm -hmm. what should you be doing psychologically, emotionally, at this level in your life or at this stage in your life. It's like almost like pay attention. Yeah. Pay attention. There's something that you're missing here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and so if you do pay attention, <laughs> you have an ally there. You have part of your psyche that he called the, the unconscious mind or the, the personal unconscious and the collective unconscious. They're guiding you. It's guiding you in that developmental growth throughout your life. So again, to go back between Freud and Jung, Freud thought of it as like a computer that's just spitting out like repressed stuff where Jung sees it and how we see the unconscious as alive. It's not like a something to be reprogrammed. It's actually speaking to us, even on a personal level, there's the personal and the collective. Mm -hmm. It ha it's, it's an alive, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an energy, psychic energy that we're that's a part of us. That's just like our body has all these energies that we're, that's running everything. Psychologically, we have this other machine that's, it's like a more energetic, uh, I don't know how else to frame it, but it's a psychic energy that is, is giving us, it's creative and it's giving us um, help. And for me, I always felt that when I started really working with dreams since I met you, cause I, I had always dreams. So I know, I just didn't know what to do with them. Um, I find that there's this deep, direct experience I have of that there's some other part of me that's bigger than me that's watching out for me. Absolutely. Um, you know, if you look at any culture, any tradition, um, they, they have a rich uh, culture of dreams. Uh, mm -hmm. of At least somebody in the tribe uh, understood dreams and, and was able to, to interpret them or to give people at least some guidance mm -hmm. into what those messages meant. Uh, and, and, you know, and some periods of time where people were, re let's say, a little bit more open about the unconscious mind. Mm -hmm. They might have called it something different, of course. Mm -hmm. They called it the, you know, the, the gods or mm -hmm. the realm of the gods or the magic. Uh, but they were in tune to what the dreams are talking about. And they use them very proficiently uh, to live kind of a, a more balanced life. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, that's what Jung says, is that what happens to us at the conscious level needs to be balanced out by what's going on in the unconscious. Mm -hmm. The unconscious serves as a balancing, as a counterpoint of balance to help us live a more complete life. 